Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to start another crop in the bottom of our open source Arduino Urban Kitchen Garden. Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. I've showed the Arduino countertop garden several times now. What we did last time, we started a crop on the top. Once this gets growing, we'll move it down. This is going to be greens, but we still have this space at the bottom. What we're going to do is we're going to grow some sprouts. And this is as simple as it gets for doing that. So I mentioned this in the previous video, but I didn't really explain how it works. I take these Boston Pizza takeout trays, and what you do is you drill some holes in the bottom. Don't need this many, but uh, more the better. We need to drain it. And what I do is I take some hot glue to raise this up, and what that does, it allows this to sit on here, and this acts as a drainage tray, because we want these our sprouts to always be draining. What we got here, I soaked these last night. This is a half a cup of soybeans. These are grown locally. They're organic uh, certified seed uh, soybeans. They're strictly for growing more. They're not uh, for consumption in this way. So perfect for what we need. You can see the water's a little yellow and it's expanded significantly from the half a cup start, but that's good. That's what we want. We're gonna go ahead and rinse these and we're gonna get them in the tray. So there we are guys, that started as only a half a cup, but that completely covers the bottom. It's even a little more than what we need, but I'd say it's just about right. I used to do this with a full cup and that's way too much. So uh, these are going to drain into the bottom here. All we've got to do is uh, water them twice per day and then drain off the extra. So you just give them a rinse. You also want to pick out any, um, any ones that look a little funky or any that have split. Uh, because they're not going to grow, but this bunch is amazing looking. Um, one of the pluses of being able to get it from a local farmer. What you do then is we want to cover it so that no light gets into it. Just take simple old tin foil, make a tent around it, and we can put it into the garden. So we just take this, set it on the bottom so no light is going to get in at our sprouts, which is what we need. We won't, don't want this super tight. You want it to be able to breathe a little bit. It's going to, uh, going to be better for things. And, uh, that's it. We leave that about five days. That thing is going to be full of sprouts. And we also have our lettuce growing in the top. We are all set. Fresh greens soon enough, guys. If you like this project, please consider a thumbs up on the video and you can find the full links uh, to the Hackaday build process, everything about it, the code, the assembly, everything is posted there for you guys. It's all open source. Take it, use it, make it better, guys. Cheers.